I'm Carl Lorne from One Move to Better Golf. Today I'd like to discuss with you how to step up to the ball. The, 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 the way I do it is the way I watch Ben Hogan, Sam Snead, Arnold Palmer, and in later years Greg Norman, Payne Stewart, practically all the players in the 50s and 60s would step up to the golf ball with the right foot first and put the club down at their target and take their stance. Again, they'd have the club square in their left hand or right hand. They'd step forward to the ball with their right foot, put the club at the target, and then take their stance. The reason for this is when the club is down at the target, then they have a direction up for their feet to take. Their feet just go parallel left to the direction that the leading edge of the club face is facing. Number two, each club's got a different length. So when I put the club down first, and it has a certain length, I can then build a stance around that length. And I'm not, I'm not starting from nowhere and trying to guess at how far to stand from the ball. I've got the club head down, each club's got a different length, and I'm then standing to the golf ball by building my stance around the length of that club and in a comfortable distance from, from my, the butt of the club to me. Another advantage in stepping in with the right foot is that it, it opens the body up so that the target is in view with both sides of the body. The right eye can see the target if you're right-eyed, and the left eye can see the target if you're left-eyed. So instead of coming in there just like this with a and, and not having a direct view of the target, by stepping around here and stepping in with the right foot, you, you get turned enough open so that your eyes can see the target both sides of your face. That gives you a better feeling of your aim of the club face and then subsequently where you stand. Another thing that I think is very important about this is that when you step in with the right foot, if your feet are fairly close together and you put your weight on your right foot, then your butt ought to be under the middle of your back in this position. Because there's three ways of lowering to the ball. You can lower from the waist, you can lower with tilt, or you can lower from the knees. Now, when you, when you take a step in here and put 95% of the weight on your right foot, and your butt is right under your, the middle of your back, you've taken away the waistband at that point, and you've taken away the knee band. waistband and shoulder tilt. The great players took out knee bend and waistband first and put the club down by putting the weight on the right foot, having the butt right over the, the middle of the back and shoulder tilt reached enabled them to get to get to establish their posture. Then having done that, they added a little bit of knee bend and a little bit of waistband after that. And I hope that helps you have good aim, good alignment and good posture. Thank you.